Hawaii, Omaha. This is Danny Meyer. I'm a, a local bass player as well as board president of the Omaha Chamber Music Society. And today, let's have coffee. It's good to see you. We've been, we've been really sad. We've been missing you, Omaha. So we decided we needed to have a cup of joe. This is the corniest thing I've ever said, by the way. I never say cup of joe. I don't mean it. I'm so sorry. I take it back. Let's have some coffee. I think it's something we all miss, right? It's just the ability to have, have a sit-down conversation with a friend. So we're bringing those to you. We're having some coffee together. I like my coffee strong, uh, but also with heavy cream. So I guess I like my coffee like my chamber music, which is traditionally 20th century string quartets. Except I'm a bass player, so I don't get to play string quartets. Have you noticed that? They don't put bass players in a lot of chamber music. Probably because composers seem to fall into three camps with bass players in chamber music. And the first one is a total, total lack of understanding of what to do with us. It's very much, um, oh, oh, we're, we're so lucky. We have a bass player today. Okay, um, you, you just sit over there. Yes, right back there. That's right. Further. Further. For, perfect. Okay, so whatever the cellist does, you do that. It, except, um, can, can you take out most of the notes and anything vaguely melodic and beats one and three? Perfect. Perfect. Okay, great. Oompas. That's, that's lovely. I love it. Or you have, or you have uh, your your uh, your box, um, whose Brandenburg parts, by the way, are just gorgeous. They're so much fun, but they can be so hard because Bach uh, <laughs> Bach took that double bass literally. So you know, double bass players double the bass line. And the bass line is the cello line, and have you seen a cellist work in a Brandenburg concerto? Holy cow, those guys are working hard. Um, and we still don't do everything that the cellist does in a Brandenburg concerto, but we're playing a lot of the same lines. So those are often very fun, but it feels very orchestral. It's like we're, we're the thunder from down under, you know. I'm sorry I said that too. Um, but the chamber music, I enjoy the most, although I do, I do really enjoy playing, playing the, um, the Bach concertos. Um, I really love that third camp where composers might be stuck with us, but they're kind of delighted about it, or they've, they've stumbled on a particularly good bass player and they've finally written something delightful for them. Um, those pieces often are kind of weird. You know, you've got your, your Prokofiev quintet, um, which is half winds, half strings, um, and it has themes like a drunk bear at a circus. That's the bass part. It, <laughs> but it it works. It's this incredible combination of instruments that kind of covers every color, um, and every line and every. It's this incredible well thought out collection of colors and, and ranges and timbres that actually work really well. Um, and we actually get to do fun stuff, you know, like Prokofiev could write for the bass player. He knew how to make us work our butts off, but it have it pay off at the end. It, it, that stuff feels really good. Or, you know, something we haven't done, OCMS hasn't done yet, but we're going to do it eventually, um, is the Von Williams Piano Quintet. Oh, that is good stuff. That is just lovely English soulful writing at its finest. And again, it's it's a composer who's not only has a bass player, but he's delighted to have a bass player. And I know in chamber music, it's not all about the bass, but for me, it is all about that bass. Thanks for having some coffee with me. We miss you, Omaha. We'll be back soon. And... Keep an eye out for more of us here with a cup of coffee. I will never call it a cup of joe again. I'm so sorry. But here with a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and wanting to spend some time with you. Stay healthy, stay safe, and stay sane. <laughs>